welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we are putting on a new muffler and exhaust on the auto car dump truck. He's got some more work that he wants to do on our road and it's bothering him that the muffler is bad. So he found out they put the wrong elbow on the bottom part. They had a weld trying to hold it all together. He got it there, cut the straps off, did some grinding, and we got a new muffler. Now, you might have heard in another video, I went to go pick up this muffler at a local place. Got there, they were trying to charge me upwards of $30, $35 more than what they quoted. So we ended up buying this online. Did we get it on eBay? Or on a separate website? All of it. They got, they wanted 60 for the muffler at the store. Then you got there and it was 80. Well, he said 50 to 60. He said not 60 more than 60. At the worst. So you you left and got it for 50, no shipping. Same walker. Free shipping. No shipping cost. Yes. 22 920 walker that we always use on everything. Then mm -hmm. the, I can't remember the Donaldson number. And then the elbow was supposed to be 40 and he said it would be 57. There. And then we got it for $30 online, no $10 cheaper than course no tax for farm and then the straps were supposed to be 10 and then he wanted 20 we got the straps for 10 online so we just had to wait a little bit because we wouldn't buy it from them so but anyway whoever they put that big sweeping elbow on there it's not right at all mm -hmm. so it's super tall and it's still sweeping right to the end there's no straight piece of pipe so what they did they set the old muffler on and cranked it over oh. and bent the bottom and broke the bottom out and just left it till it, you can see what happened to the yeah. mufflers. So it's supposed to have that tighter radius. So you actually, mm -hmm. it, it all happens quick down here. And then you have a pipe. They, hit, they didn't even have anything to clamp to. So they set it on the pipe on an angle. So I just did the same thing and realized what they had done. So the muffler comes out on an angle like this. So they just pushed it in, hooked it up, ruined the bottom, and then put up, and then they welded from here to here. That's all they did. There was no clamp. I see. So it wrecked it. So we have to take this one off, put the right one in, so you can get an actual step clamp in here and still have some straight pipe. So everything ends up being a little. Oh no! You're a bad driver. When somebody does something wrong, you just have to keep digging in and tell you. Every repair we ever do. So, but the guy that had this when we bought it never should have even been allowed to buy it. And it's good to get it away from me because the original owners, we know who they are, would have ordered it just how they wanted it and ran it perfectly and maintained it perfectly. Mm -hmm. And then there was a owner in the middle, and I don't, their name was on it, but I think they did okay, and then everything wrong with it happened with the last guy, so it was kind of one of those deals where we actually saved it. Yeah. So. So he said his battery box has kind of gone bad, so he's going to have to rebuild that at some point. He's a good welder and a good fabricator, so he'll get it all put back together, but that's what he was saying is the whole bottom part is just gone and it's supposed to be this is the bottom right a, a flange sticking out on both ends so they just snapped it right off they reefed on it bent it up cracked all the way around the outside mm -hmm. just tack welded it for three inches or so and left it and then so the whole bottom is all gone all right so awesome job on that all because this is wrong so what happens is this elbow is supposed to be lower and you have that straight piece of pipe to work with and then still get under that like you're supposed to so everything was wrong so this is going to be a real bugger i gotta kind of they welded this on so, I get to so you gotta it. yep cut her off and not cut through the other piece yeah okay well but how would when you... it's done it will be quiet yeah and proper no. Okay. Well, little bits, little things one at a time. 
What was the last job you did on it? A tire? Yeah. Okay. We haven't put any money in it either because it's just... Well, but it's not getting abused and... He beat. told me it had so much power and so much torque that he didn't ever even need to use low range in the transmission because it was so powerful. So, yeah. A lot of people that are watching will know what that means. They might not care, but that's really, really bad. Well, I was watching that one driving video with you the other day, and the guy was supposed to be in high or something. He didn't know how to shift it, and you were cringing. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll we'll get some more video of him doing some work on here, but dinner's ready, so I'm going to make him take a break. Or at least I am. He was able to get their elbow cut off right where he wanted it. And he is gonna weld his elbow on because now it's gonna be the correct angle. So this is what, a 90 degree elbow? Uh, nine, uh, cl uh, what do they call it? Six inch radius. There's a five and a half inch radius. And that doesn't come with any, what they call arms, I think they call them, or mm -hmm. legs. So this is a, what they call a six inch, and this has more to work with here and here that we needed. So we got that, and then they have what's called a, like a nine inch, and that's what we cut off that they put on incorrectly that came way out like this mm -hmm. with no straight pipe. It was all curved, so that's why they didn't have any place to actually correctly mount it. Okay. Muffler. So he was telling me it's got to clear the door, it's got to clear the cab. It's got to line up up there with the bracket, and it's got to clear box. the dump box. And they had a 9-inch diameter muffler, and this is a 10. The common one is a 10. The muff, the... So I've got to miss this, miss this, line it up with the bracket, and then miss the shield when the door's opening mm -hmm. all at once. So it's a lot of oh. just fiddly. Yeah, I don't have patience for that. So, but it'll be right. Yeah. Apparently they didn't either. <laughs> Whoever put it on, they're like, yeah, hey, whatever. Yeah, they they did okay lining it up, but they just did a horrible job. So, and then we want we'll have to do something. We might have to get another close radius, maybe the five and a half that doesn't have the legs and just has a short little leg, because on a dump truck you don't want it going up into the box that that would all be black. Right. So you want it to kick out with either a rabbit ear or a ninety. Or some, you could get away with a rain cap, which deflects it outward, but you're still going to get some. Because this needs to be repainted this color right here by us. Uh -huh. This isn't supposed to be black. Yeah. I saw this truck for sale. That soot? No, it's, they repainted the oh. box black. I saw this truck for sale from the original owners at some point. I think it was in the 90s. It was on a service road next to the highway. And we were so busy, I didn't even have time to go look at it or buy it. I just had to let it go. I would have bought it. It was sitting in a equipment yard on a service road next to the highway. And I wouldn't stop for anything at that point in time. So that's when the second people obviously bought it. But we should have bought it then, but didn't have time. Okay. Not we. I didn't know you. <laughs> but anyway. But you bought it when... Yeah, well, then I, so then I, don't, I never knew what happened to it. It was it was beautiful when the original owner sold it. it had nothing wrong with it, mm -hmm. and whoever had it in between, I don't even know where they're from. And then we act, uh, found it on Craigslist. Yeah. When the third owner was, he had he was gonna get real big in excavating. He bought a little dozer and a little backhoe and a trailer and this truck. And I think he only did it for a few months and it just failed. Luckily, because mm -hmm. he didn't take the clutch out and he didn't. Yeah. He didn't wreck the rear ends or drive line or anything. He he didn't use it enough to destroy it, but it was good to get it. Okay. Well, you get on with that. Do your weld. I see you got your torch sitting here. Did you already have to torch something? Ah, uh, clamp. I I thought I might have to torch this old clamp under here, but it broke real easy with the ratchet, so I didn't. I haven't used it today. All right. Oh. Well, I'll hang out and watch you. Is it
Is this a lot of times like a two person job? Actually, I just go this ranch. <laughs> as soon as I pick up the camera. Can you do something for me? Well, I wanted to show you, he got the welder out while I went inside to go do something. It was just set up as a dry fit a minute ago. He welded his joint here and got everything all measured and fit. He set it up as you go so that he'd get all the right measurements. And these are the clamps that we had been waiting on. Those are really big clamps and they have a step in them. So they go from an inner diameter to an outer diameter sort of thing. Is that called IDOD? They call them a step clamp. Step clamp, okay. Um, but yeah, it's just the, there's a flat one or a straight one for when two pipes or whatever just meet up. They can just butt against each other and have strength with a clamp? Hmm. I don't I, use them much I usually just weld them but like in this spot they had already welded this pipe together here so I just welded it to save a clamp it's cheaper to weld them than mm -hmm. but then you gotta weld weld in the little grooves yeah the little you know but that's quite a gnarly looking cab corner you got there it will hold her <laughs> it will hold her it looks like it's probably had a secondary piece of sheet metal put in the inside or not well, you're getting it. Uh, this is a walker muffler, is that right? Yeah. We've had those on other things too. Yeah, they're really available in this area. And then they're cheap too. There's a Donaldson number, which I can't remember good enough to tell you, but I've gotten those before too, it's the same thing. And this is a 22920. So he took the elbow that he used off of the bottom, that he took off of the bottom, and he's using it for his exhaust pipe up there. It had the right bend in it for that. So do we have an extra elbow then out of this? No, I scavenged this to do this job with, and I just um, I cut him back on an angle of the rain, unless it's really windy, most of the rain, if they're sitting out at night, it's kind of just past. Uh-huh. Because if you can put a piece of pipe like this with a flip cap, try to divert it, with this still it would end up all black, and I didn't want it to beller and echo. And yeah. I don't like loud trucks, I see no point in it all to attract attention to yourself or look at me or whatever, it's, it's just not. So, this one was loud enough because the muffler was bad. Yeah. I didn't like it. So that's it now, just clamping it all down. And you got a U-bolt up there at the top on that bracket. Well, the rain ended up quitting for more than an hour and it is sunny and beautiful. So this is a nice little break from the machining work that he was working on. And he was able to take a break for lunch. Well, actually, I don't allow him full 15-minute breaks. A lot of times I just bring him out a bowl and say, here you go, eat it quick, and he scarfs it down and gets right back to work. You know what I would eat if you hadn't brought it to me? <laughs> Nothing. I knew he wouldn't want to stop and come in to eat because then he gets comfortable and doesn't want to get back to work. So i just been bringing him out food today and bring him out a fresh coffee, and then he gets to keep working. Don't worry, he gets his time to relax. All right, so he's gonna let me start the truck. He's got one more clamp to tighten down. I've been known to drive the trucks around the farm, usually just in first or second gear, collecting hay or moving a truck or pulling a truck out of the mud. When there's two of you and it's all you've got, you gotta stick together even in the mud or a couple feet full of snow, whatever it takes. Start. Next to oh. the key, turn the key on. 
plus it's got to be in when you start it. With clutch in. Oh yeah. 